Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today is actually going to be a real and a longer tutorial on how to draw an eye. Last video where I showed this eye got a lot of hate because it wasn't like a real tutorial. So I'm actually going to be drawing an eye like this for a tutorial so that you guys can do it. Also, this eye was drawn with just normal pencils. Like, I literally only used these kind of pencils. Um, so yeah, you can buy these at Target, Walmart, the Dollar Store, really anywhere you can buy them. Um, so yeah, this eye is not fake. I drew it. It's real. Very, very many people said it was fake. I think one person did, but yeah, this is a real eye. Real drawn eye. So anyway, I'm just gonna turn to the next clean page. And yeah. So guys, this sketchbook is from Five Below. It's a decent size. Um, this is my hand for comparison, so it's pretty big. And yeah, I'm just gonna be drawing an eye for you guys, and I'll tell you what I do. So what you're gonna need is just normal pencils, like what I'm using. I'm a sharpener if you want. I might not sharpen these, but yeah, you can get a sharpener if you want. So, um, and then I just have these other pencils. That one doesn't have lead on it, but this one does. So yeah, I just have those pencils. And then I didn't actually use this white pencil, so if you want to use a white pencil, you can too. And then a ruler. You're barely even going to need a ruler. You might also want a light tissue and something to blend with a little bit more. You won't need to blend a lot, but just some light tools to do a little bit of blending with. Okay guys, so um, you're just gonna first start off with drawing a circle in the middle of your paper. It doesn't have to be big at all. It can just be the size that you want it to be. And draw it light until you kind of know your shape. So I can kind of see my shape there. And then I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm going to put it like that, and then you're just gonna trace, um, if I can do this with one hand, trace the line like that. So your paper should look like this, and then you're gonna need to find the start of your circle, so it kind of goes around a little bit. And then the end of your circle, which mine could be around, I don't know, here. It doesn't really matter. It's up to where you want to put the end of your circle. But yeah, you're just going to get kind of a rough circle shape. And then we can start the eye, the eye shape. Okay, guys, I kind of have my circle now. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, if there's something that you need to trace with a, trace with a circle, you can use this. Oh, sorry. You can use this to trace a perfect circle. So, um, yeah. Okay, guys, now for the side. Um, you can use, I'm gonna do it on this, this side, because I want my eye to be facing this way. So it would be, if you, if it was your own body, it would be your left eye. So, yeah, um, I can just go out like this, and then you're just going to draw kind of like a circle-ish thing. You can do whatever, like, you want with it. I just like when it's, like, curved like this. Sorry, my cat is... Alright, so now you're just going to finish up drawing your line is basically the inside shape of your eye. Don't really remember what it's called, but it's part of your eye. <laughs> My first eyes did not have very good a structure like that. All right, now let's go up. So you're just gonna kind of make it go up. You, your eye shape is up to you. It looks better when you have it like go up and then kind of like curve. Still going up. 
and I just have it go down by the end of the circle. So I kind of have to shape my circle for that. Well, my circle is shaped for it, but um, you can kind of just figure out how you're going to get your eyeball to do that. So, yes, it's quite easy. My eye isn't going to be very big, but it's not going to be too small, so that's kind of good, I guess. Also, erasing is just fine. Erase as much as you want, but when it comes to inside the people and stuff, you're not going to want to be erasing because it just takes down a lot of the drawing. You kind of just ruin it. So maybe don't do that. But then you can kind of curve the shape you want now. And make it unique to you. And yeah. Okay guys, I did a little bit of fixing, um, just erasing and stuff. And I got this eye shape. So now I'm going to do the upper um, eye lid thingy. Um, so you're basically just going to go over like this. And then kind of go and curve it down. Curvy, curvy. As it goes out and then just down, kind of across like that. Okay guys, well after a lot of erasing, I finally got the shape that I wanted. And I barely even want it, so I barely like it. So now, you're just going to erase everything. And I've done a lot of, a lot of erasing. So yeah, you're just going to erase every line around your circle. And then we'll go from there. Okay, I have officially erased everything that I can. This doesn't really want to erase very well. So, yeah. Now you're just going to draw like the lightest curve right here. Mm, that's not where I want it. Just draw like a little baby curve right here. Can't go wrong with a baby curve. Just to kind of separate that into two little spots so now let's put in the people or like the circle around it and then the people and then kind of start in the eye this is just getting easier and easier in my opinion so yeah also guys if you're still watching just remember that i when i said subscribe for a longer tutorial or like a better tutorial I didn't mean you had to subscribe, it's just an option. I wasn't trying to force anything on you guys because some of you guys took that hard, but I really wasn't trying to be mean. I was just saying I'm going to be posting another like tutorial um, that's going to be better. So some of you guys didn't like that, but yeah, obviously a short video, sorry. Obviously a short video like that, I'm not saying you guys are dumb, you're not dumb, but I'm just saying, shorter video, I'm not going to get all that stuff in, so, yeah, but, um, this is a longer tutorial, so hopefully you guys like it. Also, if yours doesn't look, like, good good, like mine don't look good good, it doesn't even matter at all, because it's just a drawing. So now, let's just get the circle. And what I've seen a lot of people do is have it go over the top. So I suggest doing that. It does look good. You do it over the top. My circle sucks, so this is going to take a long time. But because it's just kind of a known thing that humans cannot get the perfect circle. Some people can. However, me... Cannot. All right, guys, I'm coming back strong. I have a good circle. It's not perfect, but it's a good circle. Well, you can just erase the top. You don't need the top. It's going to look weird with the top on. And there. Boom, boom. All right, guys, we have a little better camera angle here. And I'm going to be drawing upside down so you guys can see better. So... Here I am in the back, 
and you're just going to draw the pupil part in the middle. So try to get a pretty good idea of the middle and don't go down too hard. And just try to go out as even as you can. As you can see, my circles are not even, even if I have something that like I'm tracing over. So yeah, my it's not very good at all, but don't make it too big. I've mistaked that, don't make it too big. Also, don't push too hard because then your paper is just going to go down. And if you have a drawing on the other side, it's going to go through the paper. So, Because I have learned that with the... I had stuff on the bottom of my eye. So, Well, the bottom of my eye just doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, now that you have that, um, I'm not a left-hand drawer, so... Oh, that is not very good centered. Oh no. <laughs> it looks even from there a little bit. Okay, well, I'm gonna redo this. Mine was not either. Right here. But yeah, other than that, that one's fine. So yeah, guys, um, if you're drawing with me or you're drawing using this tutorial, thank you for watching this tutorial because my eyes are really bad, but that real that other eye that I drew actually wasn't too bad. The more that I look at it, um, the better I think it looks. But obviously some of you guys don't like it, but that's okay. It doesn't hurt me or anything. Also, I've been gaining a lot of subscribers thanks to you guys. Dang, just thank you, like, so much, because I never, ever imagined to have that many subscribers. Yeah, we're gaining a lot, probably more than, like, 30 a day, so thank you guys so much. It's not, it's all you guys, it's not me, and I just make the videos here, that's all I do, um, and editing and stuff, but not talked about that anymore. That took me like three minutes, so my last eye took me about three hours. I'm going to edit this a little bit. Um, Yeah, my last eye took me around three hours. It might not be believable, but that is actually the amount of time it took me. So, yeah. Alright guys, once your eye is looking like this, you're just going to draw the little highlight thing. You can draw it in whatever shape you want. Um, mine is kind of cartoon cartoony right now, so I'm going to fix that. Okay, guys, after some attempts, I finally got the shape that I want. So now you're going to go in it. I'm going to use this pencil now. Um, you're going to go in it and kind of just shade it that it's not a good pencil. You're going to... Oh, my gosh. Okay. So you're going to shade it now like this. Darker, and then you're going to get lighter. Like that, it's really easy. To do. Yeah, and then you can get darker. Also, the massage video is coming out today, if this video is coming out when I want it to. So, yeah, unless the massage video has already came out. Probably hasn't, but... Just to let you guys know. I know some of you guys were bummed about that, but I just didn't have time. Because I literally woke up at 6.50 like, a.m. to do this tutorial because I know a lot of you guys wanted like a real tutorial. So yeah, there is that. Um, you can start a little bit of blending on the side. Um, use your finger if you don't have anything to blend with, like a tissue or toilet paper or anything. Because you're going to want to blend this. It's not going to blend very well with your finger. But you're going to need to blend this a little bit. It's not really an option. Well, I guess it is an option because if you want yours to look more realistic, then... 
Also guys, my eyes look different on camera. So right now what I'm seeing in real life, it looks like less realistic. It looks a little bit more realistic on camera. But yeah, um, I'm gonna blend the inside a little bit. Okay, so you're just gonna wrap your finger around it and then lightly blend, very lightly though. As you can see, I barely even blended it. So now you're gonna find like the really sharp end of your pencil and you're basically just going to go around it like this. Really uneven. You can do whatever di like you want, but make sure it's not a pattern when you're drawing it. So Now, as you can see here, I'm just drawing some lines in my eye to make it look more realistic. That was George. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, George. Yeah, I'm filming this on my bed because I was really lazy today. And as you can see, that is what my thick line looks like. Oh my gosh. So my pencil really doesn't have like a sharp edge to it. So I need to find, oh, this pencil is definitely longer than the other one. Also, guys, I am hopefully getting some better um, art supplies because right now, you know, it's kind of just finding random pencils and drawing with them. So it's not a struggle. I'm literally just fine, like if I wasn't getting any new things. But I feel like I'm going to have to get some new things soon. So, yeah. Oh, this one, the eraser fell off. That's why. This looks a little weird, a little bulky, but I'm just going to try to have no, like, seeable lines on here. So, yeah, now for the shading. You're going to shade on the top a little bit more, so it's going to be much darker on the top here. So, you're just going to try to get into the eye like this. It depends on really where you have your um, light, where the light is going in. So it really depends on that, like where that is. And your shape of light could be anywhere, um, but I feel like this one looks the best in my opinion. You guys can do whatever you want. You can do it from like the sides right here both sides, one side, a circle, like it really does not matter at all. But I personally suggest this shape because it just looks better. So, yes. Um, this isn't gonna look any different when I get back. I'm just gonna do a bit of shading on the top. Okay, I barely touched it and now we're gonna work on some of the shading out here. This side is gonna be lighter because the light is coming in from there. Then this side is going to be a little darker because the eye has no light to go. So it's going to be darker right here and lighter on this side. So let's draw that. I should say shade. Okay, so I figured this would be the best like way you can see this. So basically what you're going to do is kind of start off. I'm going to need a separate piece of paper. So I basically have this piece of paper where I like try to get my pencil the way I like. So I'm just going to draw on that a little bit and try to get like a really light side of my pencil. Okay, I found the light side of my pencil. So now I'm just going to be drawing very lightly here, a little bit darker than I'm actually going to draw here. But I'm going to draw really light and then kind of go around. Um, you guys are going to be blinded for a second because I need to, oh wait, never mind. I can just do this. So draw a little bit like that and then I can kind of shade it a little bit lighter. As I go in. And obviously this is going to be um, it's 
smoothened out because this is really messy. But you know, just to get the good old general shape of it. Make sure it, you know, curves and stuff, so just doing that. And then obviously this side is gonna be darker, so we're just gonna get on here and draw this a little darker. Make sure it's still like light-ish. Like when you get in further, that it's lighter. So like right here. This side you're just generally, gen generally gonna get a little darker. Yeah, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding on the other video. I feel bad for you guys because I was saying how I was gonna do a real tutorial. But I didn't want it to end out bad because I didn't expect the video to get like 7K views and people to be like really mad that I didn't do a real tutorial. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of go back and fix that. So, you know, it was my mistake that I did that. So. I will take the blame. And there you have it, the lighter side. So, yeah, I'm just going to go in a little darker here because I feel like that is too dark, I mean too light, because it doesn't really have like a shape to blend in. So I'm just going to kind of draw like that. And lightly go like that. Okay, so now that that is blended, I'll just kind of zoom out and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is the shape of it. This is my eye so far, and it doesn't look too bad, in my opinion. Um, obviously, we still have a lot of things to do, but... Right now, it's not looking too bad. Okay, guys, now we're going to get inside the eye right here. And you're just going to go lightly. Like this. Make sure that you can kind of still see where it changes. And then you're kind of going to go down like this. And I need to make mine lighter. So I'm just going to erase some of that. So mine was very dark. So I'm just going to draw really light. And then you're kind of going to draw like lines like this, kind of going to represent the inside of the eye. Mine is a little too big for the shape of my eye right now. But yeah, because it just does not match. Okay guys, so we have the eye a little better now. And we're going to make this darker. So we're going to make that darker, and then um, we're going to kind of draw like slight little lines and just like add a little bit of little like circles on the side and stuff. And to kind of, you know, do all that stuff. 
and then kind of like blend a little bit more kind of make it look a little bit more realistic than it does like that all right guys so the inside eye shading is a little is done for right now and now we're just gonna draw little lines like right here going down like that and then a little like just something right here I don't really know how to explain this but now you're just gonna go really lightly right here and kind of just start shading it in a little bit you know making it look like it's popping out a little bit so you're gonna get dark at the top and then start to get lighter We're kind of halfway done right now, so light and then just kind of get dark as you're going up. So just like that, you know, blend it, do all that stuff. And yeah. So guys, I'm showing you from the side right here. Um... What I'm doing so basically this side is gonna be darker so this side right here is gonna be darker and then you're kind of just gonna make the top really dark so that it stands out Okay guys, so this is what I'm working with right now. And now you're just gonna kind of draw this little thing that is gonna loop around like this. Kind of around the eye. And then it's kind of just gonna stop right here. Um, and then you're just gonna loop around. I'm using a reference right now, like so that I can look at and I, I'm not watching a tutorial on how to do it. I'm just looking at a reference. And then basically what I see from that eye. So just like that. Okay guys, so now we're going to work on the bottom of the eye. And you're basically just going to go down like this. Kind of around, down, and like curving in like this. We'll fix this obviously. Then this is going to get a little darker. So basically if I started this at 650, I've been working on this, it's 8 right now, so I've been working on it for this long, like a little bit less than that, because you know I had to get supplies and stuff, but yeah, it's basically taken like 2 hours so far, and I've only gotten this far. So yeah, I'm not going to forget the eyelashes. But yeah, and then we're just going to put some stuff on the top right here. And then we're going to blend all of it out. So let's get some stuff on the top here. So from this darker... You're kind of just going to get lighter and lighter and lighter. And then until basically you can't really get lighter anymore. This is really important because it definitely makes the eye look more realistic.
Okay, I feel like that's gone out a little too much. Because, you know, I kind of get distracted. So I'm going to erase that down to a good size. Okay, now I'm going to do kind of a cool transition transition where I'm going to, like, blend it. So this is the before, and this is the after. So it looks pretty good, to be honest. I feel like it looks better if you shade it. If you don't want to shave it, that's just fine. Um, shade it. I feel like I've been saying shave it. Um, don't shave it. Uh, now we're going to work on the eyelashes, which is, in my opinion, the hardest part. I know I said it was going to get easier, but this is, like, it, we're kind of almost done. So, basically, I don't go, like, really hardcore on the eyelashes. I kind of just draw. So, you guys are going to get this angle of me drawing eyelashes. Um, I can show you guys a photo. Sorry, a photo of the, like, what I'm going off of. So... Yeah, this is the photo. Eyelashes. Sorry. The eyelashes is going to take me a super duper long time, so I'm going to have to time lapse this a little bit and put some, you know, some calming music because this is going to take me literally an hour. Okay guys, the eyelashes are done, and I think I made them a little too long. I will admit that they are a little too long, but anyway, that is basically the whole eye. We do still have to do some extra things to the eye. I don't have a white gel pen, so I can't really do any of that extra texture that makes the eye look more like real and believable. Um, but I'm going to make some darker shadings in it. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on how to draw a kind of realistic eye. Um, yeah, make sure that you like this video if you liked it and subscribe. So yeah, bye!